Okay, so next uh, we need to bore this out to 0 0.755 or 5 thou over 3 quarter. And uh, it only goes, let's see here, I believe it only goes in 3 eighths, just the depth of this. So that's what we're going to do. So let's see here. Okay, so that's our depth. We'll probably step it up in speed. One notch. Let's, that should be right on the money. So let's see here. Perfect. We're four over the five, but that's okay. Uh, so let's deburr that. And, uh,. The final lathe up is to mark the holes for uh, the bolt holes. Okay, you've seen me do this in other videos. In the future, I'm going to actually make a punch that isn't tapered like this, so I can get like a really accurate, you know, pinpointing of where I'm supposed to be. But this will be good for now. So we're going to, I'm just going to get it, I'm just going to eyeball it right at the edge. Okay, so that is a radius of 377, roughly. And the radius we need to go out to to this first bolt hole is, let's divide, let's do some math, 565. So we need to go out 188 thousandths. So 10, 20, 188. So there we go. So now let's let's uh now this is a 60 bolt hole bull gear so we're gonna go every 15. Uh, so let's let's do this. Okay, there's one. So let's pull out the pin. We're gonna turn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. And again, I'm just, there are little pins in the bull gear on the lathe that I'm just using. And this looks, that looks about right. So I'm going to hit the back with a hammer. Okay. And then I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, well, I just... I forgot to press record. I was, the next thing, next step was to go from where we were at and then go sideways 410 thousandths. And that's what I did. And here's where we're at. So now I'm going to uh, punch these holes in and uh, we are going to drill them. And then we'll be done. Alright, we're at the drill press. Let's turn on the light. And uh, we're going to drill these holes. Okay, uh, we're just going to do that all around off camera. Okay, so I did all the holes. Uh, these are three holes for 10 by 24, but these holes here will be tapped 10 by 24 holes. And for that, I have a number 25 drill bit, and we're going to go down three eighths of an inch. So let's let's touch off here. I'm just gonna let's move it to the front. Yep just about goes 
to the bottom of that. So that's perfect. We got our stop set correctly. So oh, here we go. Yes, I know this is cast iron, but I still like to add some lubricant when I'm tapping. You know, we're just gonna I'm just gonna do this by hand. I'm just spinning it by hand. There's no need to go fast. This is a this is a bottoming tap, so we're gonna get really close to the thread or to the bottom of the hole for this one. And uh, I'm starting it perfectly straight, so in the you know in the drill press, so I'm not worried about it being crooked. Normally, you would start with a more tapered tap. So it's not so hard, but since I'm not doing it by hand, there we go. Just go until it turns the vise. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna do the other two off camera. All right, so now I took off the valve body, and we're going to. Uh, transfer punch one of these holes through, drill it, tap it, and then we're going to use a bolt to clamp this on here. And when this is clamped down, um, we can do the other ones. And that ensures that nothing will slide out of the way. So right now I want to get the holes right, right where I want them. And then we're just going to... Alright, so now let's drill through that. I think we can go Alright Alright, it's a little close to the edge but that's uh, it's one of my faults sometimes with drawings in SolidWorks is that uh, many times the bolt holes end up in crazy places like towards the edge because I don't spend enough time like modeling, bringing in the bolts and putting the bolts where they should be. So this isn't really one of the screws that I would use um, when doing this because it's a cap head. Oh, I need to cut it actually. I want to have a hex head. So hold on, let me cut this. Okay, I cut it down shorter. Let's just uh, thread that in. And we're gonna tighten that up. And now that head is on there tight. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a drill, drill through all these, and then tap through all of them. And then we'll be done with this part. Alright guys, we're pretty much done here. Um, this slides back really nice. You can see the, the motion in here. Um, again, I think I'm going to put hex screws, or hex bolts here, just because I think it looks better. Um, and uh, yeah, this came out really nice. Now this is going to be where, where the stuffing box lid will go on. And uh, so we still have to make that. And we'll put packing in here. And it will, you know, seal that up. So, 
yeah I think that is going to be it for this video uh, next video we'll make the other head so thanks for watching guys that's it I will see you next time